Hey guys, it's Brianne here. So it's Friday today, and if you're familiar with my channel, you know on Fridays I post the sneak peek preview pictures for the next episode of Fruits Basket, and I believe that is for episode 5 now, I think. I will share my thoughts on that on episode 4 at the very end of this video, so I'm not wasting your time because I know you guys are here to look at the pictures. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, oh, actually, I want to shout out to P. Ray? P. Raw? P. Ru? Ru? P. Underscore Ru? I always leave their Instagram handle down below in the description box, but I want to shout it to them because they are where I usually get these pictures from, and I really like their page regardless. They do occasionally post spoilers, so of the manga and that, but they do warn it, and they do post spoilers of the anime after it aired, so I'll warn you about that, but other than that, like, I love their channel, it's great, I definitely recommend checking it out. Not channel, but Instagram handle, but alright, alright, I'm rambling, I'm rambling. So. Here we go. The first picture. Let me just pop over here so I can pop it over there. But alright, so first we have a picture of Momiji. Finally, I've been waiting for these if you've been watching my other videos. He's blushing. He looks cute. He's smiling. Honestly, adorable. Like, 10 out of 10. Love it. Alright, and then so the next picture is a picture of two hands. Um, clearly a male and a female. So I'm just gonna assume since it was Momiji a minute ago that it is Momiji and Toru holding hands but that's not really like anything out of the ordinary he's just overall always been like you know really like hand holding cuddly and that so yeah I don't think anything of that but I don't but I totally think that's them all right and then so the next picture is a picture of Toru she's blushing she's smiling she looks so cute so cute, so pure, so cute, just like so innocent, love it. And there's a hand on her shoulder and the hand has a ring. So at first I just assumed it was Momiji because the next photo that I saw, but now he wears a ring, like wow, like that kind of gives me ha Hatsuharu vibes, like you know, but I'm, I'm just gonna assume it's Momiji. But like look at him, got the drip. All right, so then the next photo is a picture of Toru and again Momiji, that's why I kind of assume that's his hand. He is so tall. Like, he got tall. Like, I know I've been waiting for this to see this animated, but, like, he is towering over her. And he's just, like, so pure. Like, look at that little face. And he's, like, wearing, like, a little proper male uniform now. He's come a long way. Alright, so next we have a picture of Kyo, who is not wearing his uniform properly, compared to Momiji in the previous photo. Is he at home? Like, it looks, like, almost like at home or, like, a workshop, just because, like, all the bowls and shelves. He looks kind of irritated or, like, surprised in a way, and I'm assuming he's holding his backpack, but yeah. And then next we have a kind of upsetting photo, I'd say, another one of Kyo, but he looks very... I don't even know how to describe this emotion. Distraught? <laughs> Shocked? Like, he just doesn't look happy at all. And he looks like he's outside, so I'm curious where this could be. Because I want to say that is his school uniform still because of the collar. Alright, so next we have, like, a fancy little effect photo. It's a picture of Yuki. He's blushing. He looks very serious. And his eyes look so, like, I don't want to say glossy because that makes me think of crying. But they're just so, like, glossy. Safe to say he's probably looking at Machi, like, let's just be real. And alright, so the next photo is a picture of Machi. It looks like her hair is blowing in the wind. Very romantic. She looks kind of surprised, so I kind of feel like maybe she was called, like, someone called her name, and she, like, you know, looked over her shoulder. And since it's an anime, she looks absolutely perfect looking over her shoulder. Alright, so next we have a picture of a baby Akito and someone... And at first I wasn't sure who this is, but the more I looked at this and the previous photos, it's clearly her dad, I want to say, because he was so focused on in the previous episode. Sorry if you haven't seen it yet. But they did mention her father a lot, so I feel like this is just a flashback of a baby Akito and her father. And so this is basically the same scene, but close up, I want to say. So Akito looks very, like, surprised. Like, I don't want to say surprised, but, like, she's learning something. Like, it looks like she's just a child being told something new. Again, I'm assuming it's her father has his hand on her face. I also think it's safe to assume her fa it's her father, because I feel like the elders are not this nice, so. And then the next picture is another picture, again, assuming Akito's father. He's smiling. There's not really much to say besides talk about his hair, but, like, yeah, it's just hair, so. But if you really think about it, Akito clearly has more of her mother's uh, appearance than her father's. And her mother's personality a bit too. Alright, so the next one is, I feel, like, I feel like we haven't seen these two in forever, but it is a picture of Ayame, and I always forget her name. May? Mai. Mai? Mai? Something like that. That is a nice house. Like, I just gotta say, like, that window is huge, and, like, it's very nice. <laughs> I feel like Ayame was probably, like, looking out the window, like, you know, just thinking dramatic, maybe emotional, and then she came to check on him, make sure he was okay. That's just my interpretation of it. 
All right, and then so the next picture is a picture of Shigure. He just looks like he is up to no good. Like, look at that face. Like, zoom in on that face if you can. There is nothing good from that face. He's plotting. But, all oh, right, and I feel like they're at the Soma residence. I don't know. That's just the vibe I get from the outside appearance. All right, and then so next we have Tori, and I feel like he is at the Soma residence as well. So that makes me think that Shigure is talking to Hattori and, like, being conniving. I actually... I think I might remember this scene in the manga. I feel like I might know this scene in the manga. But yeah, either way, Hattori looks very, very serious. And I don't want to say unimpressed because I feel like that's just always Hattori's face. But yeah. Oh, so all right. So that's all the photos we have for this week. I feel like there was more than usual. I feel like that was more. But yeah, like I said, feel free to check out the Instagram down below. They definitely deserve the like and follow if you like spoilers like me and want to see sneak peek pictures. I feel like it's going to be a heavy episode again, but I feel like every episode's heavy, so it's just really repetitive me saying this. I guess I can move over here now. But yeah, so let's quickly just give me, like, listen to my random thoughts, rambles, and that about the previous episode because I watched that last night to prepare for this video. So I feel like I'm going to kind of talk in the order of the episode. If you haven't seen the episode, you, well, you probably shouldn't be watching this video at all if we're being honest. But yeah, so let's talk about the beginning, like just Hiro, like he's so sweet, like him with his sister, like that just brought me like so much joy and just happiness and I found myself smiling because it was just so sweet. This episode really though, though did just focus on like the two sets of couples of the Zodiac, which was like different. I feel like it was just really, really focused on Hiro and Kisa and Haru and Rin and I guess kind of Akito, but yeah. And Kureno actually had a huge part as well. But yeah, Hiro, like, so, just so sweet, so pure with his sister and with Kisa. Speaking of Kisa, like, she's just, it's so repetitive. My review is so repetitive. But she's just so sweet and pure and, like, I love her. And I just picture her biting, like, Toru and Haru in, like, the first time we meet her. How she's just, like, hanging off, like, like Haru's arm. On another note, though, speaking of Haru, biggest cock block. Biggest cock block. Like, Hiro, like, every time he tries to say something to Kisa or, like, do anything with Kisa, this man pops out of nowhere. It's just always getting in the way. But also, like, Hiro stepping up and being the hero, if you will. Did you see what I did there? But yeah, just like telling Haru everything that he knew and like just finally having like the courage to speak up even though he knew he shouldn't. Like he should, but like he was so taught that he shouldn't stick up to Akito in that. And telling like Haru and Kisa and like it just made me so emotional and like good on him. I was so proud of him. But like on a lighter note also, I hope you can't hear the wind. It is so windy outside. Like I have a block, but I hope you can. But like seeing them all go through puberty, like so cute. Like I'm here for it. I love it. They're all getting older. It's just so sweet. And I actually originally was going to be like Momiji's next, you know, we have to see him going through puberty next, but we did, we got to see him, it's like I knew. But alright, so let's focus on the main part of the episode, and that is clearly Haru and Rin, but mostly Haru, if we're being real. When he went feral, I went feral. Like, I loved it. I was so here for it. I was hyping that man up through the screen. Like, my love for his character has grown so much over the years, I guess. Yeah, it's been two years. And Kireno also really, really stepped up in this episode, like I mentioned previously, like just betraying Akito, if you will. And even uh, Hattori, he really stepped up as well by helping Kireno send Rin to the hospital. But all right, so let's more talk about, about like the more darker notes of this episode. I feel like I should mention it, so like this is going to be slightly more serious, even though I'm smiling in that. But I feel like this anime has definitely made it a lot easier to empathize with Akito, even though she is like just such a like toxic... Um, villain but it just really shows like how much she struggles with her mental health and because a lot of it is clearly due to her upbringing with her mom I mean hopefully we're gonna have we're gonna we're clearly I'm assuming gonna have good moments with her father in this newest episode that's coming just from those screenshots but we clearly got to see how much her mom affected and affects her mental health now still because of her terrible upbringing and how much she is a real piece of work and then like I wasn't even gonna include this part but just thinking about how Ren slept with she Shigure just to get back at Akito. Well, like, Shigure did it to get back at Akito for, for sleeping with Kireno. That's so toxic. <laughs> like, oh my god. Wow. But yeah, you definitely begin to empathize for Akito a lot more, I feel. But oh my god, the elders? Wow, they just really enable her and that's so infuriating. Like, I think now it's to the point that literally the elders are more infuriating to me than Akito ever was, I feel. 
maybe possibly like when the one was attacking Kirano, like my blood was actually boiling like it was so infuriating not so much like the one that gave Kirano the key and was clearly just a good person and just showed how like toxic Akito and the Soma family can be because she was so worried for her father or whatever it was not her but just like the ones that clearly just enable Akito and listen to everything she says also Ren yeah she's just a terrible person and yeah but like she's clearly also really really struggling with her mental health as well. But I feel like this episode did a really good job just showing like how insecure Ren and Akito feel to compared to Rin just because she's so beautiful. She's such like a great character and I never really noticed. Um, I definitely see now why people like her so much. But yeah because of her outward appearance I never really noticed just how like pure and sweet she really is because she just looks so like rough and rough around the edges and like I don't want to say scary but scary if you will from the outside but she's honestly just so sweet and and clearly going through so much and I feel like she's kind of relatable in a way and like yeah like I really enjoy her character now but I was getting so emotional at the ending especially just with her and Haru like especially since they like basically relived their childhood like how he found her again but this time he could carry her like I was getting so emotional like he's always just trying to be there for her the best he can and he's always trying to tell her she's not a burden even though she feels that way and like yeah he's just so pure too everyone's so pure and they all get so hurt and like ugh, it's just a lot but on a lighter note who were those kids like at the end like I was getting so emotional and then they kept showing those random kids because they were random kids right just randomly following them like it kept making me laugh like I wanted to cry but then I'd start laughing because it was like who are these kids but yeah I think that's all I have to say I swear I should start like taking notes when I'm watching the episode just to remember like kind of important things or thing that or things that I find important but honestly just like a great job on everyone in the episode except Ren like fuck you Ren like bye you're annoying get help oh yeah and also like Kirano when he just told um Haru to go like ignore Akito just go like I was ready to clap like I was ready to do like a, what like just clap like so good oh actually actually wow I'm the worst I'm so sorry but also when um Haru said like an oracle told him the truth about Rin being pushed in that like I don't know if that was supposed to be sarcastic because I watched the sub so like I can't tell with the tone clearly and I don't really think sarcasm is a thing in Japan now that I think of it but like to me I just heard it as like so sarcastic that like it gave me a good laugh because man didn't even hesitate to say it but yeah I've got to get going so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did like subscribe comment all that fun stuff down below if you guys want to talk about the episode or episodes or anything like that feel free to comment that down below but yeah I'm gonna get going I hope you guys had a great day or are having a great day and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys